Long time no update. I've been dealing with stuff. Uh, mostly tank imbalances. The 100 gallon, as usual, is my most stable tank. A, it's the largest. B, it's the longest running. And C, it is about two to three times over filtered so it's pretty hard to really throw it out of balance um, as for the rest of the tanks we'll get to that in a minute as you'll notice the uh, that there is the moss wall out of the 75 gallon now just sort of floating here temporarily until I figure out what I want to do with it um, the Australian rainbows are finally starting to mature enough to get their colors. Just fed the tank, so they've kicked up a lot of sediment from little crevices I can't suck out. Uh, it's a muscle there for a puffer to eat. You already chow down on that one. Walter. I don't know what he does. Just chills in the corner. At least the flow in the spot. Everybody else is doing good. Bala's reminded one of my friends that they are my uh, home defense shark. She was walking by the tank and one of them decided to jump out and nail her right to the square in the head. while the tank lights were off and she spooked them. So she quickly scooped them up off the floor and threw them back in the tank. They're doing good. Um, as for the big changes, 30 gallon and the 75. There's the 30 gallon. 75's over there somewhere. Tore down. Both of them. They are no gun. Both tanks, phosphates were going through the roof. Could not find any real reason for it. Uh, ammonia, nitrite, nitrates, those were all good. Tested everything. Everything was checked and clean. Except for phosphates. Uh, water changes weren't even putting a dent in them. So uh, I went and I just happened to catch the Petco dollar a gallon sale. I uh, picked up a 40 breeder and two 20 longs. The, one of the 20 longs and the 40 breeder I will have future plans for, uh, which are long time in the future once I get equipment. The other 20. I uh, used and combined everything from the 30 and the 75 into a single tank. And this is the result. The Mani Agricillus finally getting some decent uh, some burst growth. I'm uh, pretty sure I'll probably still end up clipping off this much of the stem. But I don't know, it's starting to get some of the growth down there too, so I'll let it go. Uh, it's the Anubius Hostifolia, Anubius coffee, yeah, coffee Folia, uh, Lewittia Repens, uh, mixed with the Amani Rosillus is back there. Uh, I have Crips throughout. Uh, I forget exactly what those ones are called. It's Anubius Nana Petite. Actually, no, that's all Anubius Nana Petite. I forgot what is those. Three of those plants. I'll have to look at my order history from Fired Up Aquatics. Uh, let's see, a little bit of the uh, Glosso. I tried to save a lot of the cover, or the plant ground cover, from the 75, but it was so riddled with. 
hair algae. It was hard to save some of it. Uh, end shot here. Uh, out of all the fish that I had in the 75, I have one neon, one male and one female angler left. Uh, and originally in that tank I had up to 45 neons at one point and 20 or so antlers. The sudden phosphate problems, I lost a lot of the fish. Uh, that's just something that happens in this hobby. So I saved as much flora and fauna as I could condensed it into this tank. Everything's doing good. Tested the water earlier. Everything's checking out to zero. So hopefully this uh, takes off pretty well. The reason I condensed it into a 20 long is so I could reuse the filtration and the light from the 30 and as a shallower tank, as you can see, it's a lot brighter coming up off the plants. And uh, that rock, which I'm sure algae and there's a little bit of uh, java moss attached to this back side here that had attached last time I used it. So I'm sure that'll start to grow back and fill in. But at the uh, green element LED that I've had for quite some time and works right. Uh, it's, I mean, it's been on for a couple hours now. It's not even really warm. Uh, I was able to find my glass lid, so I got that cleaned up and. doing pretty good. It's been set up for, I think I set this up Saturday night, it's now Wednesday, so four days. And as you can see, it's crystal clear. So, in the tank I have neon, two endlers, and two coolie loaches, and five out of cichlids catfish. Five or six, something like that. But they're all doing great. The shrimp tank's still doing great. Uh, light is off on that though. Right now, as I had a power outage Monday for the first four hours, so the timer's a little offset. But that's nothing I can't fix here real easy. I just haven't. There's a little final update for you guys since I haven't done one in quite a while. Let me know what you guys think.